Should you high pass filter the main speakers? This comes from Kevin in Phoenix, Arizona. Kevin writes, hey Paul, I've been told, and I believe it because I can logically rationalize why it might be true. Ah, yes, what do we call that? Um, uh, confirmation bias. <laughs> we believe what confirms what we believe. Um, the benefits of having a subwoofer beyond extending low end frequency response is that you relieve the rest of your system of the burden of making bass. If the amp no longer uh, uh, has to produce the more power intensive lower frequencies, you'd have more headroom because there's more available power, can be applied to the mids and high frequency bands, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If removing the lows from the amp and main speakers is as important and beneficial as it is to be made out to be, uh, currently, certainly the engineers for those reputable hi fi equipment manufacturers wouldn't include a sub output. But just forget to add high to, to add oh high pass filtering. Well, would I be correct in, in presuming that if the high pass filtering were actually so beneficial to sound quality, all the best amps would have it? And since they often don't, it must not be important. Whew. Kevin, I think you lost me on that. <laughs> all right. Well, in home theater, we do a lot of that. And that seems to be a pretty big practice in home theaters to, and you can choose small speaker, medium speaker, big speaker, right? You've probably seen those. And that's different levels of high pass filtering. High pass filtering means we're gonna remove the base. We're, so everything high passes through, everything low doesn't. That's where the name comes from of high pass. These are high pass filtered. And that's because they are separate and we don't want them producing bass. I am not an advocate of doing that. I never have been. Speakers and amplifiers are designed to do what they do and they do it pretty well. There can be arguments, so let them do it is the basic thing, right? Especially speakers. I, I really don't like the idea of, of limiting speakers. Um, Having said that, of course there is a logical reason for that. And of course, you're right. An amplifier that isn't challenged with making the bass frequencies is likely to sound better in the mid-range and highs uh, than it is if it's doing all of it. No question about it. But it's all a matter of trade-offs. You're trading one thing, one problem, for another problem. So the big question to me comes down to how bad of a problem is it for an amplifier to be producing bass at the same time it's producing highs and mid-ranges? And I think the answer to that depends on the amp and how well it's designed. When we design an amplifier, we pay particular attention to its ability to have enough power supply, headroom, linearity, moxie, if you will, to handle all of that perfectly. So would it sound better if it wasn't doing all that? Yeah, but by how much? Not much. Not much. On the other hand, when you high pass filter a speaker, you are taking some liberties that are fairly extreme. You're adding phase shift. You're adding an extra set of circuitry to that that you don't really need. And that's going to have an effect that I believe is greater than letting the amp do its job. Last thing I'll say on that. We talk about biamping a lot in the past. One of the advantages of biamping is that the bass amp does bass and the high frequency amp does high frequency. So that would go to or towards Kevin's uh, theory. But let me suggest that while that may have been true years ago, because amplifiers weren't built very well years ago, today's amplifiers are more than capable of handling all frequencies. So today, Biamping is good because you can pick an amplifier who has prodigious amounts of bass, who's great in the bass, maybe not so great in the top end. You could put a, a, a vacuum tube on the top end and a big brood of a solid state on the bottom end. That's the advantage of biamping. Not so much that the amps aren't doing their jobs, but you can 
tailor the kind of amplifier to the kind of job that it's doing. And I think that's the basis. So for my money, leave the speakers alone. Let them do their thing. Add the subwoofer because of all the reasons we've talked about for years on subs. Okay? All right. Thanks. Thank you.